watching New GHTV. All right, I am here in the middle of Grant Park with Futura, who just did his thing on stage with Lupe Fiasco. How are you doing today? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you so much for taking the time out to talk with Urban Grind and all of our followers. So tell me a little bit about your following. You did an amazing job on stage, freehand artistry. Yes, uh, well, you know, um, it's just great to be part of this whole event. And, uh, you know, the game's about to start. Uh, I'm, like, more excited about the match than what I just did. But, yeah, I mean, we're going to have some posters later tonight, which you'll see. And, and you'll remember, like, oh, that's the artist who did the poster. Awesome, awesome. So thank you so much for taking the time out with us. Tell me a little bit about the background of your art. Well, I'm from New York, and I'm from the, uh, you know, graffiti school of art. But, uh, you know, that was like a long time ago, and luckily I'm, I'm doing well, you know, these days. And uh, yeah. It's a blessing. You're staying busy. Obviously, you're doing big things with Lupe. Ch Chicago is so huge on hip-hop and graffiti art. Do you spend any time here in Chicago? Well, I mean, when I was a kid, my grandmother's from here. I mean, my mother's from here, so uh, we used to come here in the summer from New York. Uh, but that's like... Like a long, long time ago, uh, a high park area. Oh, nice. Well, Chicago still loves. It. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So, well, quick, well, quick. Right before we finish, where can everybody find information on your art, you, your art, and your background? I'm not really. I, I don't do social media, but I am on Instagram. So you could. I'm sure you'll see my stuff. Hashtag through this event and check me out on Instagram. Instagram at Futura. Futura Dos Mill. Futura Dos Mill. I'm going right now to go follow him. Make sure you guys follow him. Thank you so much for the time. Thank you. Urban Grind Television, I am here with an amazing, amazing, amazing man. Lupe Fiasco, how are you doing today? How doing? What's going on? I'm doing amazing. We just saw your performance in Grant Park. Tell me a little bit about your involvement with U.S. Soccer and how you got involved. I'm the uh, music director, the official music director, alongside my partner Futura, who's the art director. Um, uh, had a meeting with U.S. Soccer uh, initially about just Mission, my song Mission, uh, which is out right now. Uh, played it for them. They loved it. I asked them if it's anything they could do with it, uh, use it for anything. And it, those, those small conversations led to bigger conversations. And then it led to, you know, come in and be music director for the team. So in that role, I, I, anything musically that has to do with the team, um, outside of any sponsorship stuff, but directly related to the team. Uh, so we put together the, the official team Spotify playlist, uh, the music in the stadiums when they were here doing the, the friendlies and exhibition matches. Um, the performance like you've seen here today and stuff and stuff and that, things in that capacity. Anything dealing with music, you know, they bring it to me. That's an amazing opportunity, and especially you as an artist, I know that that's got to, you know, be an amazing feeling to be involved in such a uh, catastrophic organization. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's good to, to be a part of them, especially in a time right now uh, where they need all the support. Soccer soccer's in a place in the U.S. where it's, you know, I don't want to say it's do or die, but it's definitely at a place where they've built it up over the last few years to get it where it is, and it's good to see that there's a lot of energy around it, a lot of excitement around it. Um, and just another way for me, I look at it, is to bridge the culture, the culture of hip hop, and specifically the neighborhoods and the hoods that I come from, um, with this sport of soccer, and give give kids in the hood uh, another way out. You know what I'm saying? Another, a, yet another way, you know, something to participate in. And so you need to get. U.S. soccer, the same way it's in Europe, you know, the same way it's in South America, it needs to be on that level here in the States. So. Right, keeping them active, keeping the kids active. Uh, tell me where your love of soccer started. Um, back then, it was a World Cup, like, we can't remember the year, and I don't even like mentioning the year, but it was in the mid-90s um, when Ronaldo was playing, and I was just like this huge Ronaldo fan. I was like, yo, Ronaldo, Ronaldo. And uh, when, it, of course, like everybody caught the fever, got some soccer balls, started playing it. Uh, and my soccer ball got hit by a bus, and that was like the end of my soccer career. Uh, but I used to watch the games on like Telemundo, because the games, they, they wouldn't play the games, every game and the games you wanted to see, you had to kind of watch wherever you can get it. Um, so I remember when I first got into the game, it was all in Spanish, you know, and I don't understand. You did an amazing job today, and afterwards, I mean, you can't say that you don't have that much soccer skills, because we saw you afterwards playing with your fans in Grant Park. Yeah, we did a little kick around, a little juggle match, it was cool. Um, had to break it up because the game started, but it was 1-1, you know what I'm saying, shirts versus skin, so I had my homie DJ Sky, my man Nickel, 
against some of the little uh, the guys that are out there. And I think some of those dudes who were playing were actually there playing like a, a tournament before, like a mini street tournament before. So they were really, really good. You know, so it's cool. And that's great that you make yourself available to not only, you know, the people who listen to you, but the people who are right there with you. You know, you can kind of spur the moment, and I think that's great. Tell me a little bit about the song Mission and uh, your involvement with Stand Up to Can for Cancer. Um, Stand Up to Cancer. Uh, the song Mission is a basically a song about fighting cancer um, that we put together. Uh, and before we put the song out, maybe like two, three months before we put the song out, uh, we just went around to different people and played them the song, you know. Um, like I said, that's how the, the thing with U.S. Soccer happened. So we did that with a few other companies, a few other organizations, people, just to get their reaction and see if they wanted to get involved. So Stand Up to Cancer came in in a major way to help support the record uh, and fully embraced it. Made me one of their uh, celebrity ambassadors uh, alongside people like uh, Samuel Jackson and, you know, just a whole slew of people, Seth Rogen. Um, you know, it's, a, it's something that affects us all, touches us all. My grandmother passed away from cancer. Uh, various people in my life are experiencing going through it right now. Some are winning, some are not, you know. Um, you know, and it just felt like, you know, here's a theme song for that. You know, if you can use it for your personal experience, then so be it. Uh, and, uh, you know, hopefully it's something that will, you know, slowly building up. People getting, the, getting their ears to it, hearing it, can't believe it. It's, it's, so it's dope to see it go. Uh, and you know, shout out to U.S. Soccer for really getting behind it and supporting it as well, and all of the people who support Mission. So it's cool. Yeah, it's such an inspiring song. And even outside of, like you said, cancer, you're bringing in people who are working with soccer and just so many different people. I commend you for all of the work that you do outside of, you know, the music and 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 all the work that you do in Chicago. Because Urban Grind here, we're based in Chicago. All of us are from Chicago, so we appreciate that. We really do, and we appreciate the work that you're putting in. So do you have anything to tell these kids out here that might, you know, want to get something, a little bit of inspiration from Lupe? Um, I don't know, go to school, you know. <laughs> uh, you know, go to school, distract yourself with the positive, stay away from the negative, uh, or better yet, you know, stay away from the deconstructive, focus on the constructive stuff in life. Uh, you know, that's really it. Stay busy. Do what you love to do. Put the guns down, and, and, and that's what it's about. Thank you so much, Lupe. It's been a, a pleasure with you. Thank you for taking the time out for Urban Grind. And all of our viewers here in Chicago, we love you. Everybody at Grand Park loved you. You did an amazing job. Check them out. Real quick, where can everybody find all of your information? Oh, man, you follow me on Twitter, at Lupe Fiasco, on Instagram, Lupe Fiasco, LupeFiasco.com. And to go get Mission, uh, the single, and get involved in that is weareonamission.org. You can download the single there from iTunes and, you know, more to come. Download it now. Download it now. Thank you so much, Lupe. It's been a pleasure. XL here, signing out. What up, what up? It's Lupe Fiasco, tuned in to UGTV, Chi-Town. Stay tuned, you heard?